All right, in this video, we're going to talk about the top five NeoVim plugins for developers for NeoVim 0.5 and up. And NeoVim 0.5 was released as stable. All of this is for anyone who is on NeoVim stable. The first plugin that developers should consider is Telescope. I have separate videos talking about Telescope, but to quickly take a look here, you can see that you get previews that are in buffers using the nice tree sitter highlighting for color scheme. And if you go through here, you can see everything that's built in to Telescope. And of course, it's easily customizable. And as I said, I have videos dedicated to customizing Telescope. So definitely check that out. The next plugin that developers should definitely consider, especially if you're building any kind of tooling that has to do with a language, then you'll want to check out TreeSitter, but you'll also want to check out TreeSitter for better syntax highlighting and using color schemes that are optimized for TreeSitter. So let me show you what you're getting from this. So right now you're looking at my syntax for my JavaScript spec here with TreeSitter highlighting turned on. So let's toggle it off and see what we get. Okay, so you still get some highlighting and it's okay, but you definitely want TreeSitter highlighting on. Much better, much cleaner. And with TreeSitter, you can do all kinds of different things, such as setting up your own queries. And I suggest that you take a look at the documentation and figure out how you might want to do that. And there are so many things that you can do at the file level using NVIM TreeSitter. Okay, the next is LSP Signature, and LSP Signature works quite well, and if you're coming from an IDE like VS Code, then this will definitely give you the warm and fuzzy feeling that you get from VS Code and being able to see the signature and where you're at. And so we can take a look at that here. So if I go here and I want to see apply you can see that i get signature hints here and i can put in the first one and you notice that the highlighting moves to the second one to tell me i'm there and then i'm also getting the virtual text right above telling me which argument i'm on as well so this is very nice it tells you where you are tells you what argument you're on so very helpful there Next up is the best completion plugin for NeoVim right now. And this is the one that even the core team points to, or core team members. I wouldn't say they officially endorse this as the core team, but NVIM Compi just works really well. And I'll show you what you get from that. So you already saw some completion, but let's say you type your period and you want to see completion and go through and decide what you want to select. Well, you know how completion works in other IDEs. Well, Compi works really well, really clean, easy to set up. And another piece that you'll get from this is, so say you want to automatically, when you're in Markdown, have spelling. You can have that set up so that you are good to go there and that comes from copy so all of your completion goes through copy and you can set up all kinds of things through copy so if you wanted to have your zish completions there's actually a plugin for copy that's for zish completion so when you're in a zish file you'll get everything available through the zish api and so i definitely recommend checking that out all right and finally, get signs. Get signs is fantastic. 
the maintainer. Lewis is always adding new functionality and trying things out, is very responsive. Definitely recommend checking this out, especially if you have Git gutter right now, you might want to check out Git signs. And Git signs is great if you go in here and change this. And now you can see that you get word diff highlighting, and that's very nice. Okay, and so you can get the hunk preview for whatever you might have gotten rid of. So if I would have deleted this line, you can see that it shows that line is deleted. And you can stage and unstage your hunks and take a look at all kinds of things. And you get the nice line over on the side in the gutter. And so this is sort of an updated version of Git gutter and you should definitely check that out. And I've discussed it in other videos. All right, and now a couple of honorable mentions here. And one of them is NeoVim Tree or NVim Tree. And if you wanna see your project in a tree, this is a really nice one. And it uses the dev icons to indicate the different file types and whether or not they're get ignored and that sort of thing. So that's really nice. Another one to check out is toggle term. This is especially useful if you were like me and you like to stay in NeoVim all the time, then you have toggle term, which is easy to set up. There are other ones that you can check out. Float term is still really nice. That's a little bit older and not specific for NeoVim 0.5. And so these are five plugins and a few extras to check out. If you are interested in getting the best out of NeoVim 0.5, I have some other videos that are specific to some of these plugins that you should check out. But enjoy NeoVim 0.5 and keep an eye out for more videos on new plugins and different cool functionality. Thank you for watching and have a great day.